we have got a long way to go. Alright, we've got a lot to cover. In the last video, I have shown you how to make headings and oops, subheadings. That's not what I envisioned. And there is a lot of stuff we still have to go through. First things first, let's collapse all of it with shift tab and I did not turn on screen key, so let me fix that. Uh, we collapse all of it and then uncollapse with shift tab. I don't know why it says this, or why it describes this ISO left tab, but shift tab is going to cycle through different levels of you know being unwinded. I'm not sure. What? Uh, why it is describing as ISO left tab? Whatever. All right. There's a issue. All right. There's an imaginary issue. We have two level one headings. Level one and another level one. Um, actually, let me rewrite this so we actually have some some more. Some more fun. Uh, let's say you use org mode to organize your week. So you have like Monday. And on Monday you have subheadings like brush, brush teeth. I don't know how to spell today. Brush teeth and eat breakfast. Uh, I don't know, go to work. Let's leave it at that, and another heading saying Tuesday, and on Tuesday you'd like to, I don't know, let's say you don't need to brush your teeth, eat breakfast or go to work, let's say you, I don't know, go to brunch. What the hell is wrong? And what we are trying to accomplish here, first and foremost, is what happens when you'd like to, you know, you realize on Monday, you don't need to brush your teeth. Maybe maybe it's just filthy like that. I don't know. Let's say you, you want to brush your teeth on Tuesday instead of Monday. Now, technically, you could just copy it and put it in here. Oops. Put it in here as a subheading. We don't roll like that. Let's say you have a lot of text here. You have a lot of you know, prose describing. Uh, how to brush your teeth. You know, maybe maybe you just roll like that, maybe that's just you. So, how do we move brush teeth to Tuesday? We have already established that you can hold meta key and the actual arrow keys to move items up and down. Maybe you want to eat breakfast first and then brush your teeth, you can do that easily. But what happens when you want to brush your teeth on Tuesday? You can't go down, cannot move past superior level or buffer limit. There is a built-in function for that. All right, and it's very easy to remember. What you do is Control C, Control W, and you have something called Refile Subtree Brush Teeth Two, and you have to input another sub or upper level tree, upper level heading that you want to move it to. So, possible completions. Another level 1, level 1, Monday or Tuesday. We want to move it to Tuesday, obviously. So we put in Tuesday, hit tab, hit enter, and suddenly you brush your teeth on Tuesday. All of a sudden you don't really brush your teeth on Monday, for whatever reason. And I'm showing this with this kind of silly example, but it's actually important. You can move all of these between the upper level headings. What happens when you want to have, br you know, have brushed teeth as a subheading to eat breakfast? You know, let's say you eat breakfast, you know, you make your muesli or whatever you like for, to eat for breakfast and then you want to brush teeth. You can't move brush teeth to eat breakfast. It's not on the same level. Well, they are on the same level. Precisely, and this is why you can't do it. You can, luckily, um, 
add another asterisk to it, right? Now we'll say sub subheading. You can use Control C, Control W, and let's hit Tab to see what the possible completions are. And all of a sudden, you can't move it to you know you can't move it to eat breakfast. Let's move it to Monday. Suddenly, brush teeth is again a subheading of Monday. That's a bit annoying. But what isn't annoying is the fact that you can alter the level of depth that your headings are in. So if you hold meta and use the left and right arrow keys, you can just move around and create subheadings. You know, you could technically just add another asterisk and you know, all the contents are preserved. Where's the fun in that? Using the meta key to move stuff around, you can't move it past the superior level, so you just do this. Now it's suddenly a part of eat breakfast. Or it's now it's not a part of eat breakfast. Now it's something that's on Monday. You can move it up and down. <coughs> ah, excuse me. The part that's important is that holding meta key and using the left and right arrows, you can you know, create different depths. Now suddenly this is just another big heading. And now it's a subheading. Now you can move this between, uh, below eat breakfast and use alt right, ironically, alt right, to move it, you know, to be a part of eat breakfast. You can collapse eat breakfast. Now it's suddenly brushing teeth as part of your breakfast. I don't know why. Have you ever drank orange juice after brushing your teeth? I don't want to have that, so let's move it right back where it belongs. And now all of a sudden you'll notice, again, Control c Control w you don't want to brush your teeth on Monday, you want to do it on Tuesday, so you move it to Tuesday with Control c Control w That's as easy as it is. That's one thing I want to show you, how to move, you know, these items between different headings. There's a lot of things marked down as the markup language is absolutely horrible at. A lot of them. A lot of things it does correctly, and a lot of things it does just plain wrong. Which, one of them being tables. Org node supports tables. Okay. Um, if your mind is not blown yet, then please allow me to show you. Because creating tables with org node is incredibly easy, and it is so powerful, I am probably going to make another video somewhere down the series where I actually get to explain everything about tables. Tables are so incredibly powerful. It's pretty much an Excel spreadsheet. You can even put code in them and have to be evaluated. Enough of this though, let's show some basic tables. Um, pipe symbol and you know some category, I don't know, maybe maybe name, other pipe, say like age. As you can see, the, the color is different, right? And then uh, no, occupation and uh, the pipe. Now, if you hit tab, this magic happens. And we can add, you know, units to our table. A unit of a name, an age, and an occupation. And because we are good at what we are doing, we are going to add a separator here. Let's hit backspace once, add a hyphen, and hit tab. This did not work. I'm not sure why this does not work. Oh yeah, because we, we actually need to do uh, pipe hyphen, hit tab, and all of a sudden we have a nice separator. So let's, I don't know, let's do Amy, hit tab, we automatically jump to the A, to the A let's say AB23, occupation, I do teacher. Hit tab again, we can add another unit. Let's add Barney. As you can see, we have exceeded the space we have. What happens when you hit tab? That's not tab, that's F9. Hit tab, it automatically adjusts. Let's say Barney is, I don't know, 65. Hit tab, the 65 is automatically adjusted to be the same or be in the same part of the table as H or as 23, Amy's H. Occupation, I don't know, let's say he's just a worker. Hit tab again, 
we can enter another one and that's actually important let's say oh no five is this even how you spot five do you do so they it just doesn't really matter and his occupation is an office work worker and hit tab it all automatically adjusts let's get rid of this as another you know separator get rid of this and now the magic kind of starts because the way we have amy barney and clive kind of organized we can move them around let's say barney should be at the top of the table meta and arrow up is going to move barney his age and his occupation up and we can move him down and up whatever we like the funds uh, part starts when we want to move columns so let's say we want to have age first and then name second we can move name to the right with meta uh, arrow to the right it's going to automatically adjust it's all just going to work everything's fine now we can move these things around the way we like them to be and this is especially useful if you have if you actually use the tables for like code evaluation or if you have huge huge tables that act like spreadsheets now this is not a spreadsheet you might say and you would be correct the difference being that you can have it act as a spreadsheet and you if you export this to another format which is something that we are going to cover sooner or later probably in the next video really uh, it's going to look really really nice because you can export this to let's say HTML or LaTeX and it's going to look great and that's about what I wanted to show you today um, with tables you can do a lot more with tables I recommend using tables in the next video we are going to do you know we are going to explain or talk about actual the actual usage of org mode to organize your day we are going to keep the Monday Tuesday example and we'll have deadlines for them or actually just at first a status is stati I guess you know what is there left to do what is already done and we'll have some fun with that so I encourage you to play around with tables, you can create some really nice tables, actually org mode is my preferred way of doing so, I never was big on Excel. So yeah, tables it is, tables are pretty awesome in org mode, unlike in other markup languages. Thank you for watching, and in the next video we'll go and we'll talk about actual to-do and done modes for headings. I'll see you next time, goodbye.